Today, Senator Barbara Boxer announcing in a YouTube video she won't run for re-election to the Senate. And as you might imagine, that set off a free-for-all among California Democrats who couldn't move up the political ladder because our two Senate seats have been locked up for a generation. KUSI Steve Bosch is here with more on what this means for California politics. Steve? Alan, it means ambitious Democrats holding high offices in the state finally get a chance to move up that political ladder after 24 years of waiting. And this open seat will draw a long list of candidates. I am never going to retire. The work is too important, but I will not be running for the Senate in 2016. Boxer was the tenacious and skillful liberal Democrat who relished being in the upper ranks of the party. But with the Republican takeover of Congress, her power was greatly diminished. It's no fun being in the minority party, so absolutely I'm sure that was a par par partial factor. Her decision to leave by a video announcement was a surprise to Sacramento and Democrat leaders in Washington. Thank you all very much. The reaction of Senator Boxer's retirement. What? An unanswered phone call, so Boxer released the video. She called me, she said she wanted to talk to me personally. I thought you wanted to maybe have dinner tonight or something. <laughs> oh my. Political consultant John Dadian says Boxer's departure has a lot of California Democrats reassessing their political future especially those thinking about running for governor. Another door has opened, this one to the Senate. They can run for this in what they call a safe seat. The attorney general, the lieutenant governor, they can run for Senate, and if they don't make it, they're still in that office. But the list of Democrat candidates will be long. Here are some of the big names. Our, our current attorney general, Kamala Harris, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, uh, John Chang, who's in the controller's office, uh, former uh, Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, and possibly current Los Angeles uh, Mayor Garcetti. There's also liberal billionaire Tom Steyer, who's thrown millions to Democrat candidates, and one other who has talked about running for governor. And that is keeping in California's tradition of celebrities, George Clooney. On the Republican side, the biggest, one of the biggest name on the Republican side is a local in the San Diego region, and that's Congressman Darrell Issa. He's 12 years in the House, is termed out of his chairmanship of the Oversight Committee, and ran against Boxer in the past. If he still was chairman, I would say he's probably not going to run, but since he's no longer chairman, um, I think there's a very good chance. He has the money to fund his own campaign. It's an open primary, and the Senate is a move up. If there's a large field of Democrats, let's say 10 Democrats, and only two Republicans. There's a very good chance a Republican can finish number two. Then there's Neil Kashkari, who ran against Jerry Brown and lost. He's probably thinking about it for no other reason that he has run very recently, so he's hoping that residual name ID will carry him, at least uh, to get him into the general. And here are some other possibilities. Carly Fiorina, the businesswoman, Fresno Mayor Ashley Swearingen, and even talk about First Lady Michelle Obama who may be moving, moving uh, to Palm Springs. Mm. Alan, Sandra? Very interesting. Uh, Steve, with uh, Boxer's retirement, are we going to see a generational change in Washington now? Yeah, Alan, I think we are. Several uh, under 50 members of the House in the Senate. Boxer is 74. Nancy Pelosi is 74. Senator Dianne Feinstein is 81. Should she uh, decide to run again, she'll be 85. Now, Republicans have had some success successes in the House. But uh, in the Senate, Boxer and Feinstein have been there for 24 long years. No doubt Republicans have found it difficult to find a candidate who can uh, compete. But now, you know, we have that open primary system, and the playing field should become a lot more competitive. Can't wait to see who the candidates will be for this. Oh, season. yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you, Steve. You.